If you're trying to decide whether to upgrade to pro version of CapCut or stick with Freeplan, then this video can help you choose. I want to mention that most of my videos on my channel are made using the free CapCut version. So in this video I will show you just a few examples, not all of them of course, what you can do with the free version and what you can do if you decide to go pro. So let's get started. The first comparison we will do is putting the text behind the person or an object. Now putting the text behind the person is really easy. You just have to duplicate the clip, remove the background by clicking Auto Cutout, which works only with humans, add the text and drag it underneath the duplicated clip. But what you can do with the pro version is a step forward. Not only that you can place the text behind the person, but you can also place the text behind the cars, mountains and even animals. So let us put the text behind this beautiful bear here. What you have to do is duplicate the clip, go up to cutout, customize, click on smart brush and paint the bear like this. Wait for the process to end and hit apply. Then add a text, place it on a spot you like, extend it and drag it under the cutout bear. And like you see, we have a nice text behind our bear. Second comparison is color grading. If we are using free version of CapCut, we can color grade this clip by going up to adjustments. We can just use auto adjustments here and it will auto adjust your clip and I must say it does a pretty good job. Or you can just color grade each segment individually. On the other side with the pro feature we can go with color match, select the part of the video you like, or you can import the picture where you like the colors and with one click, you have the same colors applied to your video. How cool is that? Third comparison is cutting the silent parts out of the clip. We can do that by clicking the clip, extend it, and then we can cut out the parts where we see no audio waves. You can use these icons here. The first one is for split the clip. Second one is for delete the clip on the left. Third one, delete right and this one is for freeze the clip. So let's click on split, move to the next audio wave and click delete the left part. Or let's click on the freeze icon and we get this frozen part of the clip. You can also use shortcuts. For split is Ctrl or Command plus B. To remove the left part click Q on the keyboard and to remove the right part click W. But to do all that automatically, we just have to click on this icon here, remove filler words, and CapCut will do that for you. You can then check if the parts you want to get rid of are correct, and if you are satisfied, you just have to click on delete here, and as you see, there is no more blank parts in your video. The next feature is vocal isolation. This is not a comparison, but I just want to show you what really blew my mind when I tried this. For example, if we have a song which I took from Epidemic Sound and it has vocals in it, you can literally remove the music background out of it or vice versa. Let us hear how original sounds. People in therapy are often that a deal with people in their lives. So let me show you how to remove music background first. I will cut the clip a little so it doesn't take us too long. Then go to the right side and scroll down to vocal isolation, click on it, and as you see, we have here keep vocals, so that means it will remove just music. Let us hear. People in therapy are often that a deal. That is really awesome. Now let us just keep the music. Really amazing. And if you ask me, I would go on Pro just because of this feature. 
And the last but not least feature today that will help you decide is Cloud Space. As I mentioned before, there is so much features in CapCut that it's impossible to show all of them. But the most popular are AI tools with amazing effects, ton of templates, one-click background removal, text-to-speech and lots of others. So, if you want to sign up with a free account to get 1GB of free storage, but with the Pro version you get 100GB of cloud space, which also means that you can share your project across different devices. So if you start something on your cell phone, you can then continue to work on your computer. I hope this video helped you with your decision whether to upgrade on Pro or stay on a free version. And one more thing, if you want to talk to me, get access to more tutorials or get my feedback on your videos, then join my free Discord community, which is pinned in the comments and in the description. Take care and see you in the next video.